How was uh, let's have you do your proper introduction? Wow, my name is Makanto Nani Lechiku. Um, I'm a special advisor to the Fanta Adikula you're now on media. And at the same time, the DG Sports, I do have the Sports Council. No, uh, but, but being the conveyor of this dream, this ideology, how do you feel today, sir? And seeing the success of it, I feel so happy. I feel so elated. I am um, overwhelmed. Honestly, I'm flabbergasted. Um, who would have a program like this, being successful, and would not be happy? Wow. No, it's sir. just a success. Looking at, the, looking at the promises made today, and only to the fact that we are expecting so much, how do you hope to put up management to make sure that things go according to plan and according to ideology? Um, first of all, I want to appreciate um, Godwin Enakena for his gesture. Um, of course, you can see what he did here today. He takes a, a somebody that has the grace of God to do what he did today. Well, we have a management team, which we, of course we are trying to rejig. You know, we're trying to bring more hands on deck to get more people to join this dream of ours. And believe you me, when the game is set, Ajibula will be a force to be reckoned with. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, knowing that this is finally when the government and the people are beginning to actually have a link, how much more do you think the government can do or should do to encourage the citizens, I mean the youth within its locality, within its, 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 uh, its, uh, its reach, to gain more and, uh, and, uh, and of course be more engaged, apart from just this? Well, everybody is just saying government, 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 government. Um, there is a saying that uh, don't think of what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. You know, in our own part, we say government. Um, the government has tried on its part to provide us with facilities. And it's now left for us to develop these facilities and use it to get talents, you know, to tap raw talents that are uh, bound in our community and develop them into state and natural, uh, national, uh, national prominence. Now, for the Honorable Fatah Adekule Ayola led administration, as you can see, he's out there providing sporting facilities for us, giving it to us at a humongous amount. You know, these things don't come cheap, they are very, very expensive. But you see him doing all these things, and you ask yourself, why is he doing it? It's because he wants the children to go off the streets. And you know, in recent times, we've seen our kids, youths, engaging in one form of crime or the other, disturbing the community. But now, how do you see it when a child goes to school? From school, he goes to the ICT, ICT center constructed by the government, and from the ICT center, he goes to the football pitch or the basketball court or the table tennis to play games. By the time he gets home around five, six, he's tired. He just go to bed. He will eat and go to bed. At times, he might not even remember to eat. At times, he might not even remember to take his bath. So you can see, the government has seen all this, and they are calling on the private sector, individuals, members of the community to come together. So we all can put our heads together to ensure that sports takes its rightful place in this community. Wonderful. Now, um, this question is a very dicey question. Only to the nature of the environment we find ourselves in. Give us from a ratio of 1 to 100. What do you think would be the success of this project? Only to number one, the nature of the youths here and the nature of the personalities whom we are looking at involving. Because by the name we've all heard of Ajebule, it's usually one terrible thing or the other. So how do you think the success rate would look like? Well, yeah, you said ratio. Ratio is not one to hundred. Okay. So it's percentage. So okay. um, <laughs> we are looking at something over time. Okay. Ninety percent. We're going to get ninety percent success because okay. I believe by the time the kids start seeing what we're doing, it's, ah, you know, so that boy, they play ball for Ajemi Peludu. Ah, that boy, they did Ajemi national team. He did their team. Oh, 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 go join them. You see them coming out to do these things, and everybody will be happy at the end of the day. Wonderful. Now, this is a means towards working, I mean, to working towards uh, stopping crime, reducing crime, reducing inactivity among our youth. Yeah. And I believe with the initiative we are looking at here today, we are going to have great success. And from the conveyor of the ideology and the dream itself, we believe that we are moving towards greater progress. So what do you say to the people watching you today and to those who are yet to align with this initiative? Well, I'll say, well, you are, thank you for watching me, first of all. Then, uh, on the other hand, I think we all need to come together to make this thing sweet. So I will talk to me one time, you know, so the thing will be sweet, you know. We all need to come together and work together. And believe you me, if we all put our hands together, like Godwin said, um, 
one hand cannot clap. It takes two hands to clap. So if we all come together, we can clap our hands to say, yes, Ajibula has gotten it right, and we are taking our children off the streets. Say no to crime. Say no to crime. We are taking our children off the streets.